Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. My name is Namlina and today we have a Shein haul. Before we get started, please do refer to my Shein video where I talk about customs, shipping and all that information because I will not be including it in today's video. If you do want a customs refund, make sure that you talk to customer service from Shein and they will give you a 50% customs refund after you've paid, after you've received your product, okay? But refer to my first video about this where I have a purple background and short natural purple hair and you'll find all that information. So today is this expectation versus reality for Shein handbags. You guys asked for this video so most of these items I'm not going to keep. I will be selling them on my Yaga store so make sure that you check that out and I do deliver nationwide within South Africa only. I know we have some American viewers and we do have some viewers in Botswana and also in Swaziland. Darlings! only in South Africa. So let's get into item number one. Item number one, you guys actually saw it in that first video. It came in this little plastic. You see this plastic right here? It came in this little plastic. This is what it looks like. On the side, I'll have the picture of um, the item as it was advertised online. It is super tiny, guys. I don't know how to really like showcase how tiny it is, but the color on this is so beautiful and vibrant. It only has one handle in the front. It does not have a handle at the back and it has a magnetic closure with the black interior, okay? This is one layer of leather with the print on the outside and then the actual leather um, black coating in the inside. Only this part here has a double layer of leather, okay? And then you'll see on the side, they have the little handles, but these handles are not removable. They literally are just part of the bag like that. So according to the picture on the side, this looks pretty much similar to what I expected to get. I'm not a fan of these little bags, so this is definitely going to be on my Yaga store. So check my description box for the link to my Yaga store and you guys can purchase this on my Yaga store. I won't include any shipping cost or anything like that. Um, you guys were just purchasing it at its price. So I did get like different types of bags, not just like the mini bags and whatnot. I got like wallet stuff and just different types of bags. Item number two, this is the packaging. So they don't use that Shein packaging. They don't use this, okay? They use this type of packaging um, for these bags. And this is what it looks like. Yo, the quality of this, like it's a joke. It is, it looks like the sample before they made the real one. Um, but the color is beautiful the, the color is beautiful but you you literally get what you paid for okay like you get what you paid for so i don't know what like you guys is it unbended i don't know i really don't know english is not my language so it does <laughs> this is so funny it comes with this matter why does this look like mwaba like honestly it's oh my gosh this literally looks like a sample. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. Red interior. Um, you can literally see the stitch work. It's unlined and it has these little threads here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It has these little threads all around. And yeah, man, absolute rubbish. Like it just, oh my gosh, how embarrassing. And it's not that I say to like you're not going to Yo, Carly guy, one am. I want am. More than need stitch. Rubbish, fell. Anyway, so on the side it does have these gold rivets. I believe you would take the string of biltong and just like tie a little knot on the inside, and then do the same on the other side, and then you'd have your little bag. Um, very disappointed. Really, really disappointed. Let me actually rate this. Bag number one, ten out of ten. Bag number two, three out of ten. Like it's. It's a joke. It is an absolute joke. Item number three, I'm very excited about because y'all know I've been collecting some jewelry. So this is what it looks like. They packed it so nicely. Like I enjoy that they use the bubble wrap. Unlike the other ones that just had like a plastic over them. So you slide it out. Then it has the plastic on top of it. And it actually is quite shiny. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it is actually, oof, <laughs> I'm trying to be a YouTuber. It is actually quite shiny. I don't think you guys will be able to pick up on that. But it has little specks of gold 
then it just has this closure right here in the front and look at that so you would be able to store your jewelry in here i really really like this i i really really like this let me see Ooh, this is much tougher than i thought so this is for jewelry organization and this is stunning this is really nice i'm giving this an absolute 10 out of 10. next up we've got a bigger bag so this is what it looks like my word you know what i think all these bags that are not sturdy are just a walking disaster like honestly they're just they are a walking disaster so this is what it looks like it's a little tote i mean it's not horrible it really isn't like horrible but the quality of this is just a joke the stitch work on it ah oh, man it's it's literally it's it's not good at all I do not recommend this I would give this a four and a half out of ten it's just not hitting yeah like yes it has the details like you know it has the gold details here but and I'm not it's not that I'm expecting like some amazing quality I mean they just cut and stitched like look at those raw edges they literally just cut and stitched and anyone who's new because I know my Shein videos attract new people um, I am a qualified fashion designer so I do have a little bit of knowledge about construction and just finishing off your items properly and it looks like the tension was off here because this yeah mm -mm, no it's a no from me <laughs> it's a no this I'm very excited about. This is our next little bag. Well, it's not really a bag, okay? This I'm very, very excited about. Comes in its little plastic, and then they've got a sheet of paper on it. Ah, this is beautiful. So cute. It even has a Shein tag. It is the first out of all the items to have a Shein tag. So this is a card holder. You have your main compartment over here. Ooh, this zip is a heavyweight zip, okay? You have your main compartment over here, right? Just like that. What is inside here? Okay, so it just has a little tag inside. And then a little recyclable paper. Okay, so this is your main compartment in here. And then over here... You would put in your card so i don't know if you guys can see that it's a snake skin just like that and then right over here you would put in your card so if you change bags a lot and you have quite a few cards that you like to transfer from one bag to the other you can keep all your cards in here and you can keep some papers in here like 10 rand notes 200 rand notes um coins in the main compartment and then just have your cards in here and then this you can just move from one bag to the other bag instead of having a large wallet or something of the sort so this is very handy especially if you change bags quite a bit you put all your main cards in here and you put some change here in the main compartment or whatever you want to put in the main compartment and you're able to transfer from one bag to the other bag i am giving this a 10 out of 10 the quality is really really good the stitch work is impeccable fantastic stuff she in this is a good one <sighs> i feel like i'm always buying this bag and now it's, it's really it's getting old now basketball bag guys look at how it looks like they packed it so poorly and to think that like the jewelry organizer was packed so well and looking at how they packed this bag like look at that yo that's so disappointing Ooh, this is so disappointing oh my gosh let me try open it up and keep what dollar for you guys like the packaging really affects the customer experience because now here i am busy playing coach fixing the rugby ball and i don't even like those sports so this is the best i can do at the moment i'm definitely going to need to stuff it just that it could regain its shape okay so you have your little mustard handles here and they are a different color from the rest of the bag yo guys like they did not pack this well yo i don't like playing coach I only know my favorite position is CEO. Then it has a little handle on the inside, and the handle has like a not a really it, it, like it's supposed to look gold, but it doesn't really look gold. It looks more yellow than gold. I, I really don't know how to explain it, but it's not a okay. My necklace is gold. Can you see what it looks like? It's like a 
a lighter shade of gold don't know how to explain that and then it also has like you know the little handles okay so apart from the packaging the stitch work is really not that great but it's not terrible um, this packaging though has really ruined the experience like you want to get your bag like imagine if this is the only thing you ordered and you were super excited and then it comes and you're busy playing rugby coach like Ugh, oh, man, it is so boring, honestly. They could have done better. And the thing about Shein is they do better when they want to. Buy a pair of sunglasses for like 70 Rand and it will come in a nice case. And then you'll buy a whole bag like this and they haven't even bothered to like, to pack it properly. So I'm quite disappointed. The bag itself is not bad. I will give this a 6 out of 10. So I actually just found another little wallet from Shein that I had missed. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. On the side, I will place the picture of what it was advertised as. And it's pretty nice, really nice and simple. It's unfortunate that it's not lined, but the stitch work is not too bad. I don't know why they used white. They should have at least used black thread to match the snake skin pattern. Um, I think it would have been so much neater, but it really isn't that bad. Last but not least, guys, I am so addicted to these little shopping tote bags. Like, I feel like I own most of the Woolworths ones. Woolworths has these cute ones. Let me show you one. So check out this one. It's from Woolworths. Look at how cute this is. With a like little dog. Anything that has dogs, I am buying it. Like Woolworths has the greatest little shopper bags that just they're great and then you don't have to use plastic but anyway i got another one from shein oh wow this material is very interesting it literally feels like a pillowcase yeah wow it's very interesting okay so this is what it looks like Ta -da! very very nice um in terms of the print the print on it these lines are really, really nice. It's it's not anything that feels like it's going to scratch off anytime soon. And the stitch work inside the bag, it's not bad, but it's also not the greatest. Um, and the material of this, like it feels like a pillowcase, but not a soft pillowcase, like a hard pillowcase. That is literally what it feels like. Quite interesting. I would actually rate this a six and a half out of 10. It's not too bad. The sizing is really good. You can fit quite a few things inside of this. Um, and it's it looks true to the picture. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's something that you can like, just carry your textbooks inside, put a few stuff inside and keep it moving fold it up when you're not using it. I could use this for shopping and keep this in my bag. Just fold it up like this and you would tie it up like this, like a little um, napkin. Tie it up like this, put it in your bag and you're able to go shopping and have a little shopping bag. So guys, those are the bags from Shein. Thank you so much for watching. It is really hit or miss with these bags, but also you get what you pay for. Can't really be expecting fantastic quality when you didn't pay much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I also have some of these items that I don't keep on my Yaga store for those of you who may be interested. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.